God damn, man. The 3.5 going for 75 now? God damn, boy. God damn. That's what we doing now? Boy, I thought you were my boy, man. I thought you were my boy. Come down on the 10 dollars. Oh, hey, hey. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, let me call that. Let me call that. Let me call that. Okay. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to the LaFleur Lounge News with it. Hey, man. Listen. Make sure that y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Now, let's talk about this, man. Holes for Harris. Holes for Harris is trending. This shit is breaking, dog. Holes for Harris is trending online on Twitter. And if you're not familiar with why that's trending, let me break this down for you right here on the LaFleur Lounge News. Now, <laughs> hey, Judge Joe Brown does not fuck with Kamala Harris. He said that basically she an old school hoe that then did everything she needed to do sexually to get to where she's at. Let's take a look. But I got to ask you about Kamala Harris. How you feel about her? She's a piece of shit. I was in California. She lacked professional competence and she worked on it by hiking up her hemline when she needed influence rather than researching. She's always tried to do the casting couch to get where she wants. Now, the problem is, is that will get somebody to a certain level quickly. But you can't get past that level if you don't have competence and talent. So my thing about it is, is if I'm crude about it, in this city years ago, I used to represent a whole bunch of pimps and hoes, and I know a hoe when I see one. And I say this, I don't care, women, you do what you want to do if you want to have recreational sex, but when you do the casting couch or anything else for professional purposes to get paid or advance, you a hoe. And she's old hoe. And the problem is, is what is she supposed to do? Somebody, one of her sycophant slaves comes up and unwraps her in a carpet naked at Putin's feet. And he says, oh, yeah, I'm Julius Caesar. He said, no, ho, I got better stuff here already. Plus, I don't want you anyway, you old woman. Get on up, you know. Uh, or Xi Jinping, is he supposed to be impressed? She's doing word salad. Well, we're here today because China and the U.S. are here today. And that's why we have to agree on what we're doing here today. Like, fool, what did you just say? You know, did you say anything? Now, I don't know if that's true. I can't put that on her. You know what I mean? But I do find it crazy that she wanted to start her campaign trail out in Atlanta. How do we get to Atlanta? She's trying to attract all the young black voters. So first, you got to ask yourself. She probably got with her team and said, where can I get all the young black voters to come out and get excited about voting. What place has like the most niggas where this could happen? And she thought, you know what? Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta. Yep. And that's what happened. So she started the campaign trail off in Atlanta, a nice little prep rally. On top of that, she might have got Lotto to get performed. I guess they were looking for, you know, maybe young local talent because we seen Quavo was there. We actually seen her pandering using Quavo's lyrics to try to get the crowd excited. Let's take a look. Donald Trump. Donald Trump, on the other hand, has been talking a big game about securing our border, but he does not walk the walk. Or as my friend Quavo would say, he does not walk it like he talks it. Now, they needed somebody to actually perform, right? So they said, you know what? Listen, maybe Lotto can make the most sense because she's from Atlanta. She can get everybody excited, things of that nature. But then her team said, no, Kamala, that makes too much sense. It makes too much sense. Let's go get somebody from outside of Atlanta. Yes, let's go get Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah, there we go. Get Megan Thee Stallion. And she went and got Megan Thee Stallion all right, and everybody was already saying before she even performed, what the hell is Megan Thee Stallion going to perform that's going to make sense at this prep rally, right? Like, all oh, Megan Thee Stallion raps about is sucking dick, riding that dick backwards, running through niggas' houses like Tomb Raider, wet ass. Yeah, that's the type of stuff that she raps about. Is this really the right place? But I'm assuming that maybe, just maybe, Kamala Harris thought that, you know what? It's going to be a lot of young people in attendance. That's going to make it seem appropriate. Well, she was wrong. That's not the case. What actually happened was 
None of the young hoes came out because this is Atlanta. They should have did their research. The only way to get the young crowd out to a, a prep rally for the presidential campaign in Atlanta is to put crab legs on the menu, is to put green grass on the wall, is to put free Casamigo and Terramana shots before five o'clock. Happy hour. That's the only way you're going to get them to your rally. Is there going to be strippers there? Well, Megan was there. That's good enough. But that's the only way in Atlanta you're getting the young people to come out to your prep rally. And then you need to probably put the voting ballots in the Casamigo bottle. Yep. They need to have the sign, the sign that say, hey, it's my birthday. They need to be like, come vote over here to your right that's the only way we are getting the people in atlanta 25 and under to vote now kamala harris had the young megan the stallion up there performing in a crop top suit with a stomach showing shaking ass now i will say she toned it down just a little bit but she still shook that ass a good 60 percent and she tried to skip over some of the lyrics that were a little bit more vulgar. She even tried to get the crowd in attendance, but there were only middle-aged women to older women there to support Kamala Harris. And the crowd wasn't really having it. She was like, yeah, yeah, give it up for Mrs. Harris, y'all. And then she'll make her right cheek jiggle. And yes, it didn't make sense. And being that the young folks don't come to the prep rallies, we were stuck with Miss Margaret's and Miss Myrtle's Yes, they were there, and they was looking like, child, who is this tall, thick woman up there showing all her goods, representing Miss Kamala? Hell no. Nah. Now, even in the crowd, we would see them playing Not Like Us, and even all the Roswell Randys was in attendance, and they was going crazy. What, 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 what? And that's what happened. Now, Listen, people are saying, man, this was an ultimate fail. This didn't help her campaign. My thing is, did it hurt the campaign? Did it help the campaign? And let's refer this over to Big Just LaFlair over there at the LaFlair Lounge. What's happening, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Just LaFlair. It's him. What up, YouTube? It's the Top G. And if you're not subscribed to the LaFlair Lounge, then you better tap in now. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, man, what's happening? Look, hey. <laughs> hey, man, y'all tried it. Y'all tried it. Come, look, I get it, man. Y'all tried it. I ain't even gonna knock y'all too much. Y'all tried it. Y'all did y'all best. Y'all tried to entertain the people. This ain't the first time that somebody that never put on a concert at a prep rally. I get it. And it's just funny to me, man, because when I look at... When I first started voting, right, I was 18 in 2008, fresh out of high school. I had the privilege to vote for the first term for the first black president, Barack Obama. And those were my standards at the time. I was like, you know what? This just feels right. I can't believe that I'm I'm witnessing and I'm taking place and voting for our first black president. I know my grandma was proud. You know, I just felt good. You know, my grandma came from segregation and things like that. Like, I remember when we were a classy world. He was going against, what, like Mitt Romney. And I just remember they came up during the presidential debate. They shook hands. And just because they came from opposing sides didn't mean that they couldn't respect each other. And now we are living in different times. We have motherfuckers insulting each other. We got uh, Kamala Harris saying, you can't walk it like you talk it. We got President Trump niggas is trying to, the shooters is shooting, the pewters is pewing. We got people dying at the campaign rallies, losing their families. This is a circus, and this 
is exactly why people were a little bit upset with Kamala Harris yesterday. It wasn't really the fact that it was like, oh, Megan Thee Stallion. It's because she's starting to participate in the circus, right? We don't have expectations for Donald Trump. We have expectations for Kamala Harris because she comes off as a black woman who cares about the community. And that's what we thought that was going to happen. And not that she doesn't, but... She already got the allegations. They trying to say that she done put more black black men in jail. They saying that's why she got Megan Thee Stallion. They love, both of them love putting innocent black men in jail. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But what I will say is it was tacky. At the minimum, it was tacky. And I'm only saying it because, and I hate to do this, but it was just like you could have got somebody better to perform. Megan Thee Stallion, it's not because of who she is as a person, it's only because Megan Thee Stallion, her content is not going to help the situation. You're hiring a woman who raps about nothing but basically, I'll say 92% of her music is about prostitution, exchange for money, fucking for money, how wet her snatch is. Her music is not about any, there's nothing that she's put out that's motivated people to be like, you know what, I just want to be a better person. All she does is make music about sexual content. She sells sex. Now, I get it. I, I, Quavo was there. I probably would have preferred Quavo. And I get it. Y'all going to be like, well, Quavo has said violent stuff in his rhymes. He's done this, done this. Hey, man, it's a double standard world, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I'd rather hear Handsome and Wealthy then wop, then body, yadi, 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 yadi. He, she not, it's, it's, she's not even from Atlanta. She needs to be at the Houston campaign trail. You should have got somebody else, but I get it. It's last minute. She just put her name in on the ballot last minute because uh, Sleepy Joe had to get the hell out of there. So I get it, man. But learn from the mistakes, Kamala. This ain't it. That's all I'm going to say. This ain't it. Now, what I will say is that you've learned your lesson. Now, when it comes down when it comes down to basically the, the campaign trail coming to the prep rallies, I don't know about other cities, but I could have told you. Atlanta ain't, ain't, ain't really showing up. We don't show up to the Falcons games. We don't show up to nothing unless it's a happy hour till 8 o'clock. That's the only thing we show up to. Yeah, when we had a, when we had a football games, we had a Falcons games, we ain't actually going in the arena. Hell, you talking about? Why are we going in the arena, nigga? We going to turn up. Somebody gonna bring their TV outside. It's gonna be a barbecue grill out there, motherfucker. We gonna have shots of Casamigos, Terramana, Hennessy, uh, that type of stuff. And we gonna party outside, and then we going to the strip club after. And we going to Strokers, we going to Pinups, we going to Magic City. We going to uh, uh, any type of lounge. It's a lounge on every single block in Atlanta, right? So this is what I'm saying, like, what I, she didn't know, she don't know the inner workings of Atlanta, you feel me? So what I'm saying is that she need, she should have basically tap in with some people because we all know the people that's going to the campaign rallies are the middle-aged people it's the margarets it's the jeans it's the carries those are the type of people that's why they was looking like who the hell is this young tall woman shaking her ass who child this look like my grandchild that's what that was they not the ones that's coming to the campaign. The, the Megan Thee Stallion fans aren't coming to the campaign, bro. We, we, she just came to Atlanta. Nobody cares. So if we just being real, listen, if you want to attract the black voters, I don't think that getting Megan Thee Stallion or you got to get the proper entertainment and just hope that they come. Shout out to Roswell Wayne, Randy. He was there. Um, but yeah, we just got to make things make sense. That's all that I'm asking. But I don't think this hurts her campaign. I think that the young people is coming to vote regardless. And that's the situation. But I do understand, too, this is 2024. The campaign trail isn't just classy anymore. This is a new generation. They know this generation is a little... Y'all a little slow. All y'all internet babies and stuff. Like, y'all was raised only to the internet. What's going on is they got to do internet things. They got to get the campaign going they got to get um things to get y'all attention we know y'all got a short attention span so i'm not really mad at kamala and i mean how can we be mad at kamala when trump got motherfuckers shooting him people dying uh he brought up chef g and everybody he bringing up gangster rappers who fought murder cases to his campaign he keep bringing up little pump weird ass um so i mean 
you gotta play to pay you gotta pay to play and this is what comes with it man i get it i just thought making it stand there really makes sense but at the end of the day who cares man who cares this shit is a circus but we can be critical just, people are acting like just because uh you may be voting for kamala doesn't mean you can't be critical of her you can be critical and still go vote so that's just what it is with me man y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation man do y'all think kamala uh excuse me man that yike um do y'all think that kamala was making the right decisions or do y'all think that yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boom! You are now tuned in to the LaFlair Lounge with your host, Big Just LaFlair. Motherfucker. You are watching a master at work.